Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today we're gonna be setting up our database for user login. So let's um, go to localhost. Well, right now, if you wanna set up a user login database, you gotta type in localhost forward slash php my admin my admin press enter and it will load oh come on it should not be a problem again yeah there this should pop up one well, it's just loading right here yeah this should pop up or maybe this other theme will be there like this theme will be there most probably for you guys um but i uh, prefer this one uh well that's just my personal choice you can take whichever you want and once you've done that what you need to do to start is uh, we're gonna go to databases over here on the top left corner and uh, create database we're gonna name it users not users actually let's name it source sources it's gonna they're gonna it's gonna be the sources for our um, user uh, login and our um, uh, stuff like um, the posts and all that stuff so now in uh, here we need to create a table which is currently gonna be um, use uh, the user for the user so let's name it user name we're gonna set this type to a watcher and length values will be 225 we're gonna set um let's see nothing else much great and then the password watch our again and 225 again so nothing else to set oh yeah one minute we missed one important part um uh, we're gonna keep an id of the people who are lo logging into our site so we need this as ID then we're gonna keep this as username and yeah for the ID field you need to add this a underscore I which is auto increment so it'll increment uh, one by one onto the next value now is uh, we're gonna set set the password um, more char again and 225 um, and the full name Currently, we are not asking anything like the date of birth and all that stuff. Um, just respect some privacy, come on. Okay, and uh, as I said, this video is not gonna show you. I uh, show you how to um, uh, put on. Wow, what was that? Yeah, how to put on um, uh, email verification. Well, over here in the table name, we're gonna put e okay well, users and save it come on yep once this is done uh, this thing should come up over here and the next table we need to create is um, not users it's gonna be messages oh, no it's gonna be um, uh, posts posts we're gonna have um, ID username name and we're gonna have the post post so uh, oh yeah and we're gonna need even time so so that we can um enter the time when we need to okay we need to add one more column go already okay there it is post and time stamp um i don't think we need anything else right now let's see yeah i don't think we need anything else we're good to go right now um if anything we need to add we'll just add it later watch our post is gonna be oh, okay post is gonna be text um timestamp is gonna be watch our. no oh yeah watch our. uh we don't want this timestamp right here where is it this because that'll mess up the whole thing um and once we've done that uh int will automatically be set we need to set this to 225 um this was 500 and um 
host uh, is text it will automatic automatically be assigned and yeah we need to keep one more uh, uh this thing called youtube that's gonna be a boolean um uh, i'll explain that in a minute one minute um watch our yeah yeah we need to also keep id as auto increment and uh we're good to go now so let's oops yeah we're gonna press save which is not a number oh a timestamp all right all right all right let's set timestamp to i don't know how much it'll be so we'll keep it 500 save this there we go yeah now let's i'm gonna explain you the you uh the table types um basically an integer uh, int means integer which can be which uh, can only be numbers and it has a length value of 11 uh, then is this warchar which means it can be any character um which is there on your keyboard including the, including the shift characters and they're gonna uh, they can be a max of 225 as you can see we typed it manually over there and in the posts we have um a text thing uh, text uh, supports a max of five MBs, I think, or five, four or five MBs of value or something like that. Uh, you could just go and Google it; you'll find it. Mm. Uh, then this tiny int, it was actually a boolean, but uh, I don't think it supports it. Boolean is uh, normally um, a number that is e either zero or either one. Zero is false, and one is true, just like the binary code on and off. And this tiny int means that uh, it can have a maximum length value of one. So uh, that's what uh, is for the explanation of the DB or the database. Um, I'll be starting to import. Uh, we'll be starting importing of database and uh, user script in the next few couple of tutorials. It might take up to three or four tutorials. And well, that's all for today. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more of these videos.